hey hi friends welcome to my channel and today in this video i'm going to show you active directory migration from windows server 2012 r2 to windows server 2020 so in last video we did a uh, active directory migration from uh, um, windows server 2012 to 2020 22 also but it was a in place upgrade so this is what we have done in last video so if you want to refer and uh, want to see how you can do the in place upgrade from your existing server or physical machine or virtual machine uh, to the latest operating system with the same uh, configuration and also you can refer that video and in case if you wanted to migrate to completely brand new uh, windows server let's say you have a hardware refresh or anything any requirement you want to build a new domain controller and decommission your existing domain controller with the same name and ip but you wanted to have a latest operating system in place so this is the video for that so uh, in my lab environment i, I got four machines so uh, win 2 get world dc01 dc02 uh, one is running windows uh, 2020 which we upgraded in last video but is still having the old names and in following video i'll show you how to change the domain control name also and this is the machine which we are planning to have a, a replacement for this server with the windows server 2012 r2 uh, to windows server 2020 and these are the two machines so this is our environment so if you see this is dc01 so dc01 is now on windows server 2020 standard and dc02 is still running on the old operating system which is windows server 2012 r2 so this is the domain controller our domain controller and this is the brand new machine which i have just installed and configured basically host name and given the host name to window uh, win2k uh, 2022 dc01 these are the two client machines so before we begin the first thing is you need to either uh, delete your basically demote the old domain controller and then you can use the same host name and ips to promote a new domain controller either you can go ahead and um, use choose the new name new ip to configure your machine so in this video i'm going to take you to the um, uh, using the same name and same IP so what we can do first go to a domain controller 02 and then you need to decommission this first before migrating to other so if you are promoting a new domain controller with new IP and all it's it will remain same but if you want to use the same name this is the process so go to uh, to manage and remove roles and features so this is my old domain controller which is running windows over 2012 r2 so click on next and then click next and you need to uncheck the windows domain active directory domain controller and then you will get this uh, demote the domain controller so click on that and now you need to make sure you have logged in with the correct user which have all the rights and then just click next and proceed with the removal and click okay so For the domain controller removal so this is running running a uh, <coughs> dns and global catalog so you need to remove the global catalog first so go here i like to users and computers and then go to your server domain control and click on properties and then you see here the DC tap is global catalog so now just go here and remove the uh, global catalog so enter DC settings and remove this global catalog click on apply and then ok now you will see this is changed to DC so now this is no more global catalog so this is good now just click back and uh, next and remove this it should show you the next button now you can see the proceed to remove next is highlighting so just click on this and then you can remove the dns delegation also so click next and then you need to set the local administrator password so click next now this is done that will take some time and one reboot to finish that uh, the motion of this domain controller and then you will be good to go and promote the new domain controller 
uh, with the same name and same IP. So I'll wait for this uh, domain controller to reboot and then it will shut down and then we will configure the new domain controller. So just wait for some time to finish this uh, uninstallation of uh, DNS and domain services and then it will go to reboot. Now you can see it will reboot soon. So go ahead and make the reboot. Okay, now you can see it's auto rebooted. So this is good. Now, if you go here and just refresh this, you will see domain control is removed from here. And if you now I go to computer, you will see this is moved here as a normal computer. Uh, the server is no more domain control. So, this is good. Now, I'm just going to log into this server and shut down the server so we can use the same IP in our new domain controller. So this is good. Now go ahead and cancel this and now this is our new server. So I'm going to do the first thing configure IP address. So IPv4 and then one and click OK close here and this should be good so now you can go here and join this machine in domain so labs and so on dot com so put the credential it's going to be administrator and password for administrator so boom now you can see this is joining domain so this is good we'll go ahead and reboot this machine so you will see here soon you will get the machine in domain computers you will see that this machine is created now so this is good now if i go here and show you actually uh, domain and services You will see the existing machine is still there so you can go ahead and just delete this machine to clean up your AD metadata so this is good now we have only one domain controller so now we can go ahead and log into our new domain controller and now we should go ahead and install the active directory Domain controller rule. This is done. Now let's see with whom user we have logged in. So who am I? Who am I? So I need to log in with the domain administrator or the user who have a login rights, like should be member of domain admin enterprise admin and all so apps and zones as administrator and i'm going to type my password here so now this should be fine so i'm going to change my display setting so it should be 75 175 so you guys can see my screen what i'm doing and now we'll go ahead and install the directory domain rules click next 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 and install now you can go ahead and promote this as a domain control also We'll do that also. So wait for a few seconds. It's not going to take more than one minute, I guess. So 
So it's almost done. So now you can go ahead and promote this server as a domain controller. So add a domain control in existing domain which is labsandson.com and this is my admin credential, user rights and credential. Now you can go ahead and add, if you have a multiple uh, sites you can add there. So I have only one site in my domain environment so I'm going to promote this in the same site. So next and you can sync with the any domain control so I'm going to sync with my dc01 so this is all so just click on install so now soon you will see this server is going to reboot once the installation and configuration is finished and now you will see here also the domain control computer will be marked as a domain control and by default it will become a, a global catalog server so just wait for some time to get the installation finished and reboot you will see that soon so i'm going to pause the recording uh, for the installation it's not going to take more than two three minutes so now dns so you can see dns and domain control installation is done now it will reboot soon so just wait for a few seconds it's gonna reboot soon so now if i go here in domain control if i refresh you will see here the new domain control is now promoted and you will see the operating system detail and all of course this is the latest one so now you can see it's rebooting so now you can basically go ahead and kill your old domain control which was running windows server 2012 r2 now just wait for this machine to come up and then verify everything is good now same thing you can go here and verify in your production <coughs> or you can say that in your sites you will see both servers are there so you can see here servers are there but uh, the links are not created it's going to take some time to create the replication links now go ahead and log into server and verify you are able to do the basic administration thing and verify the basic application services and all related to AD. So first thing you can go and validate DNS. So you'll see the DNS is installed and replicated from your main domain controller. If you want to verify, you can go in properties and you can see. <coughs> these details so basically if you go here you will see your board domain controller it's running from the actual data integrated and name server you can see all the names server detail so you can remove the old one which was there before so this is good so one thing you need to make sure you are uh, you have you need to clean all your uh, records related to old domain controller so like this one you need to create and delete this so make sure the cleanup is done properly in your infrastructure for old domain controller so DNS is good now we can go and verify to the users and computers so you see here two domain controllers are there and now If you want to change the main control also you can go ahead and verify the main control okay it's gonna take some time to give you the the main control link so this is good you see it two domain control both are in same side and with the global catalog and all so now you can see the replication is automatically created so you just need to wait for some time to get the ID automatically synced and got, get the, all the information synced at the back end and now if you choose the domain controls click on change domain you will see all the domain controls are available so 
So this is good now. All four domain controls are up and running with the latest operating system Windows over 2000, uh, 2022. And in this videos, uh, last two videos and uh, <coughs> uh, one video basically in this video I have uh, given you two scenarios where how you can do the in-place upgrade and uh, migration to the new operating system with the new machines. So <coughs> hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post on my channel uh, comments or on given email ids thank you once again bye bye